I think we'll we'll go to the uh, our lightning round questions and then uh, then wrap up. So for the lightning round, what I'd like is uh, we'll just go down the line here and uh, take please. <laughs> we'll well we'll start with you. And, well we'll, we'll mix it up. <laughs> but uh, uh, please take about 20 seconds or so to, to respond to the question about uh, who or what do you look to for inspiration? Who or what do I look to for inspiration? Uh, a variety of things. Interestingly enough, um, sports. Mm. I, I look at teams and how teams work with one another. I look at high performance athletes, not just their um, what they're doing, but their equipment. And I think there's a whole variety of inspiration for me personally that comes from sports and the technology and the gear and the perseverance and the training. Huh. Excellent. Tweens and pop stars. And, and I said tweens and pop stars. And I'm not tweens. Queens. Yeah, so I think what's that? It's 12 to 14. Huh. Yeah, you know, and uh, um, you know, anything pop culture and pop stars. And the reason is I'm a firm believer that life imitates art. And if you can really kind of get into that genre of what kids are thinking is really cool, really fast, really creative, you can kind of anticipate what's next. The most influential movie in my life was Star Wars. Like to this day, you know, I, I'm a 70s baby, I'm an 80s kid. You know, to this day, I'm like, hey, how can we do something like? And it's very much reminiscent of when I was that age, and I was really inspired. Hmm. I actually go be before that, um, looking at kindergarten kids. Yeah. Um, that's where my inspiration comes from. Um, not just visiting a lot of kindergartens and, and bringing my own four-year-old into kindergarten, but actually those mindsets of kids are really, I think, some, something important which you can bring into organizations as well. Um, that's why we just created another kid. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, I now have a, a five-weeks-old, uh, five um, so to hopefully get even more inspiration. So we, we just continue that route, I guess. <laughs> Larry? Uh, I get a lot at a corny stuff, just reading. Uh, <laughs> people write this sort of one-page uh, story about uh, some tragedy in their life that got turned around or how they turn themselves around or how they ruin themselves or even <laughs> but uh, just uh, somebody's self-portrait uh, you know one pager kind of thing um, uh, I love reading those things and they get me thinking about stuff I wasn't thinking about the bios huh? that's cool yeah, yeah I love that I love like transformation is kind of what we try to do with products so I'm totally Totally there with Larry. For me, it's my guilty pleasure is is science fiction movies. Yeah. Yeah. Her, everybody should see her. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and um, Korean UI design right now is oh. off the hook. It's yeah. it's, crazy. it's crazy. They're doing like in games and social software, super fun. You know, really like all, they've just broken all the rules we just told you about, and it's awesome. <laughs> it's not. North or south? South. South. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Okay, they're breaking a lot of rules in the north too, but uh, not another. North okay, is, so yeah. other than your own company, and we'll start with you this time, Charles, and move back this way. Other than your own company and Apple, take them off the table, which company do you think is doing the most interesting work right now? You mentioned uh, South Korea, but. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, put, yeah, Neighbors, uh, pretty, pretty good. Uh, the South Korean search company is doing all sorts of interesting stuff. They're up a line. I think, it's, it, like, just it's just my eyes hurt and I love it and I don't know why. Um, most interesting company. Um, uh, it might wise. have to come back to me. Um, yeah. There's so many right now. Too late. Too late. All Lightning. Right. Yeah. Right. Neighbor. Okay. Then <laughs> throw that out there. But South Korea. Well, okay. And the search company, Larry. No, really. I want to pass two on that one. Ah. Um, it's a, a tough one because uh, they they uh, change it. The kind of the mantle sort of moves from one company to another. Uh, someone will do some really creative uh, iPhone or Android app, but then you know six months later it's just the same, and somebody else has got something more interesting. Well, recent past then. Oh, recent past. Um, well, LinkedIn. I'll put okay. after yeah. after well, yeah. giving them hell about infinite scrolls. Um, <laughs> there is a lot of creativity there. Yeah. Yeah, Frederick, other than your own company? Um, I would probably not pick an, a company or organization. I would probably pick schools. Um, ah. I think schools are now in, a, in an interesting position to really um, redefine themselves or redesign themselves in that sense. Um, I think we have an, an interesting area 
where they have to focus more on the user, which are yeah. children or students. So I think we, we, we can have like some, some interesting outcomes in the next couple of years out from schools and how they actually redesign themselves. Excellent. Yeah. Steve? The benefit to going forth is I had time to think about this. So, um, one of them is Sina Weibo in um, China. I think that they're doing amazing work. Um, and uh, they know exactly who they're designing for. And, and it's, it, it's just working brilliantly. Uh, other one is actually Audi, believe it or not. Um, Audi's new navigation system in the main console of the car, the actual dash, is a, um, it's a super high resolution TFT display, the whole thing. So depending on your driving conditions, the, the dash changes, just kind of makes sense. So when you turn on the navigation, the dash changes, and now it's a you know, huge you know, turn by turn arrow, but it's right there within the driver's view. You're not doing this, you're paying attention to that, and there's just something so intelligent. And when you take a look at it, you're like, of course you should do that. But they're the first car company to really kind of innovate with just putting computer screens right there in the driver's view. I just think it's magnificent. Catherine, last, last time we have to wrap it up, we're getting the hook. Uh, yeah. I would say Tesla, and not just yeah. because the latest car is beautiful and compelling, but they're looking at transportation as a whole, and it's such an area that is long overdue that we need to look at different ways to transport uh, people. Uh, excellent point.